A beer delivery man talks a man out of jumping off a bridge by offering him some Coors Light. I think that's fantastic. Hilarious. And why isn't this a commercial? This could totally be a commercial. Uh, so, <laughs> so Jason Gable is a uh, beer delivery guy St. Paul, Minnesota. This cat here was uh, driving over a bridge that he doesn't normally drive over on Interstate 94. Okay? He dropped off a shipment of beer at a sports bar nearby. He then went over the bridge. Crossing over the, bu the busy highway bridge that day, they spotted a man standing on the bridge's ledge on the other side of the fence. Okay? So Gable is the driver of the beer truck. He shouted, bro, you all right? And then Anderson was his co-worker, the other beer delivery guy number two, filmed it on his phone. <laughs> filmed it on his phone, of course, because everyone's going to film a suicide. And not, Hey, all right, you help the guy and I'll film it because uh, society requires one of us has to film everything <laughs> when it comes to this sort of stuff. This is what's going on all over the world, man. People are shooting videos of people getting mugged instead of helping them. So... But there was two guys in this situation. One of them, thankfully, one of them was like, I'll help. You do this. You shoot this on Instagram, okay? Uh, the, the man on the ledge responded that he was about to take his own life, okay? That's when Anderson cut the video and called 911. Good for you, Anderson, for cutting off your video and not shooting a Snapchat video and calling 911 like a good citizen because these things don't happen these days. The kids want to keep filming. They want to keep shooting. They're like, I'm going to get followers from this. And, and that, that's more important than saving your life, sir. <laughs> what kind of world am I living in? The dispatcher told him to hold off until the police arrived. But Anderson couldn't stand the wait. He later told the news, I'm thinking it's either I help this guy or he's going to jump. i got to keep this guy entertained somehow because if I wait for police, the things, the things could be over. And he's right. This guy's a great guy. I love it. These beer delivery guys, they're like superheroes. Let's see what they did. <laughs> uh... He said, I recall the movie Inside Man, in which uh, Denzel Washington plays a hostage negotiator for the New York Police Department. Oh, he was channeling Denzel. That's pretty dope. I was like, all right, I got to be a negotiator. What do I got? What do I do? So for the next hour, even after the police arrived, Anderson talked to the man. He asked him his name, where he grew up, whether he had kids. He found out the man lived about four blocks away from the bridge. He had children. He was originally from Chicago. Okay. Anderson told him, I grew up on the east side of St. Paul, in the hood, just like you. At some point, the police officers and authorities arrived. They closed down the lane. And then Anderson kept asking him questions. You want any food? You want something to eat? He said he wasn't hungry. Need any money? Okay, you want to have a drink with me, Anderson said. The man paused. Yeah. You want a beer? Maybe. The man said, maybe. This is great. I feel like I'm acting it out for you. Cut two. Anderson runs to the runs to the truck, grabs some Coors Light. <laughs> runs to the, he rushed to the beer. Okay, he grabs a 12-pack of Coors Light. He brings the case of beer to the bridge's ledge. He opens it. He told the man if he climbed down, the 12-pack is all his. And the man agreed. He climbed down for Coors Light. My question is, did you have a better beer than Coors Light? Because that's a risk there. Uh, Coors Light is not a kind, the kind of beer I'm going to step down off a ledge for. It's just not. You're going to have to get something really crafty for me and something good. Coors Light is uh, not high quality enough. Now, I'm about to kill myself, man. You better come up with something better than just some Coors Light, okay? You, what do you offer me? You, you know, Bud Light, PBR, like, this is shit beer. You better offer me something quality to step down. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you gotta go get all, you know, uh, popping bottles of champagne, high-end, whatever, but you know what? You know what I really like? Here's a beer I really like. You guys are gonna be like, Jonesy, you're such a wuss, but uh, I like this, uh, it's a watermelon beer. Made by, oh shoot, what's the name? I just went out and got it the other night because I was craving it. Hell or High Watermelon, it's called. And it's uh, made by this very small company. But man, this watermelon beer is delicious. <laughs> when I want to break from my manly beer, which is Guinness, I like to do uh, a watermelon beer. But yeah, if you came to, with, a, with a four pack of those Guinness cans, you gotta, by the way, drink Guinness cans, not out of the bottles, you idiots. The cans only, or the draft, preferably the draft at the bar. But then you gotta do the cans because it's got that CO2 cartridge and it makes it good. If you came with a four-pack of the Guinness cans, I would, I might, you know, come down off that ledge. But not Coors Light, man. Let's come on. I have taste. I have class. I'd be like, I'm about to kill myself, bro. You offer me what? <laughs> Rich crackers and Coors Light? Come on. My last meal better be something good. <laughs> Some beef jerky and Guinness. <laughs> Amazing. This guy got off the bridge. 
And now Anderson's a superhero, all right? It's superhero, and this is me. And I love to hear stories. This is very, very, you know, it's a weird story, but it's also very encouraging to me because, you know, as I always go off on a tangent on this show, I said, "Are there any reasonable human beings out there, guys?" I always ask this question because I'm losing faith in humanity as a result of covering Weird AF News for a year. I'm losing faith in in people. I, I don't. I'm wondering where the brains are, the properly operating brains. And now I get a story like this, and I go, "You know what? They're out there. These great people." They're out there, they're bringing people together, they're saving people's lives, you know? Yeah. They're offering people free Coors Light, which is, you know, it's okay, it's all right. I mean, I'll take some Coors Light, all right. More importantly, he made this guy laugh. And that, that proves something that I've, I've always said, and that laughter heals all. Laughter heals all, that's right. And that's why I do Weird AF News, so you guys can listen to the, you can listen to Fox News and NBC News or any, or CNN News or whatever regular news outlet that you listen to, and then that can get you in an angry state. And then you listen to Weird AF News as a follow-up. And then you hap you're happy again and you're laughing. And then you go start your day with some laughter.